this. Okay, so I mean, I'm guessing you go there and you go there and you. So I put supports. I put AD carries at the very bottom and supports above them, because AD carries are the least of us. They they go at the bottom of the stack. They deserve no respect. Uh, okay, so let's see now. In terms of MMR breakdown, who, who do we have here? So the highest MMR guy is um, the AD carry on their team. Highest MMR guy on their team is... I don't remember, actually. He was squidliest. Highest MMR on their team is the mid laner, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, because you... Wait, no, what? Never mind. Uh, and then Twilight, you were also like platinum or something. So there's platinum top laner, um, gold. So the lowest MMR guy I think was this guy, and he's on support. So that's that's smart. Typically, want to put your lowest MMR guy, on, yeah, MMR guy on support. Their team, the lowest MMR guy was. I think it was Elder, and he's on jungle. So okay. Uh, he was mid MMR on their team. That's their support. All right. Let's check out chat before anything interesting happens here. I know you would say it's a better genuine learned engine. Well, here's the thing: if you're first starting out league, it's probably maybe kind of interesting. Well, like the game itself isn't horrible. I don't know how like starting a new account is nowadays and how terrible it is. Um. You know, how many smurfs are around, what it's like, just how lopsided the games are in, you know, when you first start out kind of thing. But, you know, so it could be a worthwhile experience, I, I can't really say. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem, friend death. Glad to be of service. Why am I looking at the bottom lane? This is like the least exciting lane. Okay, the top lane is where it's at. Here, we're going to focus mainly on the top lane. Because, you know, all the professional, oh my god, LCS so cool, blah, blah, blah stuff. They, they never focus on the top lane. Because the top lane people in the professional play um, induce comas. They're so boring. But, you know, with actual League of Legends that uh, us mere mortals here play, top lane is a, is a cauldron of... Okay, I was gonna say it was a cauldron of excitement, but it's not. Um, you got some kind of weird jungle fuel thing here. You're gonna, yeah, you gotta back off. Work a heal. You got that guy collapsing. He sees it. Don't, don't hug the wall because he's gonna do that to you. No, well, you almost made it. That's why you gotta like beeline it that way because you know he can snipe you through there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guy got three man collapsed on that poor son of a bitch. And then the easy prey is going to get taken over there. Uh, how's bottom lane going? Oh boy, this is exciting. I see some CS going on, guys. Okay, let's tune back in there uh, in 20 minutes when something happens. Uh, mid lane, not a lot. You know what? This is why my voice goes. It's because it's literal continuous talking. Even though I talk a fuck ton when I'm playing League of Legends, because, you know, i got to distract myself from the fact that I'm playing League of Legends, um, it actually doesn't even remotely compare to trying to do commentary on, like, spectating a game. So I'm going to try and like add little breaks here or there. Hope you don't mind. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a short day if my voice goes. You can do commentary in your own head. You know, you could practice. Or you could just do it, you know, you can say it out loud if you want. With the unpredictable cameraman. It, it, see, it's good practice. Like I'm suddenly focused on top and then suddenly bottom lane. And you got to commentate on what's going on. So uh, all you aspiring LCS casters out there. This uh, should be some fine practice for you guys, because suddenly mid lane and there's actually nothing going on. He's like floating there. But... See, I said I was going to not talk, and I'm talking. That's that's the difficulty of this. Okay. All right, all right, guys. Exercise is starting now. It's uh, do your own commentary day. I was thinking of switching the thing away at the last second there, but I figured that would be too dickish. So I was like, <laughs> and then the bottom line, but uh, this is on the NA, yeah, the NA server. 
I think once I know what all the abilities are, you know. Yeah, no, that's like... That's the barrier of entry to League of Legends. Like, especially if you know some other mobile. It's just learning the 6,000 heroes that share about five different abilities. And you just gotta remember, like, the slight variant that this character has on this ability as opposed to, you know, this character sort of thing and have the rough idea of the cooldowns and stuff. Once you, you know, do that, which admittedly is quite a task because it's just so much shit, you're fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes League of Legends gets a little bit tricky and it'll combine two of those five abilities into a single ability on the character, so... Mm -hmm. For example, there's a lot of characters who have the, um, the three hit into special um, auto attack proc ability. For example, like Mordekaiser, he will go um, whack extra damage, whack extra damage, whack super damage. Um, Fat Fish here, what the hell is his name? Tam Kench. He has a variant on that where he'll go one attack, two attack, third attack, and then on the fourth attack, he can do a special version of his other attack, which is either gonna be a stun or he eats the guy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a champion like Rubik that can copy abilities from other champions in the league. Could be interesting. Uh, it sounds like a nightmare to balance, but... You know, could be interesting, certainly. We're certainly short on that in league at the moment. Then, of course, we have the... Um, oh, a champion with another four-hit mechanic. It's regular attack, regular attack, regular attack, final big attack on the fourth attack, not the third attack, guys. Uh, and, uh, then he's got to reload his gun, because he has limited ammo. Mm -hmm. And then we have Rengar, <laughs> who has a, uh, how many stacks is it now? I think they reworked it. So it's on the fifth. I think it's on the fifth attack. Oh, yeah, so he's got the fifth attack. All right, so you got to remember that. So we got characters with three attacks, we got characters with four attacks, and we got characters with five attacks. Um, does anyone else work off that system in this game? Not really. You guys taking notes? I realize it's pretty complicated here, so... Open up a notepad on the, your other monitor. Bane? Bane's not in this game. Are you talking about something else? Hey, there's a kill. So that guy didn't run away fast enough, and uh, because he didn't run away fast enough, his uh, HP, bar di HP bar disappeared. To be honest, we actually have one champion who is pretty unique and interesting in League. There are a couple of them. One of them is Bard. Bard's actually kind of unusual. We'll give right credit there. Um, there really is an equivalent to Bard in this game. The closest thing is, like, maybe Ivern, and that's not even, like, really all that close at all. Oh, yeah, and then there's Velkaz passive, where it's, like, uh... Oh, yeah, we can look at... Read it. <laughs> there we go, here, this is another three stack, guys. Bell causes. Oh, god damn it, why are you swapping? There we go. Bell causes abilities apply organic deconstruction. So it's got a different name. Okay, well, I gotta turn this off. It's like doing this automatically. I gotta keep like, clicking on it. Um, if three stacks are accumulated, they will take a burst of true damage. So it's on the third stack, it's true damage. So it's another slight variant. Do you remember how much people were complaining about how shitty Bard was when he was released? Yeah. To be fair, they did buff Bard. And to be fair, it was night... <laughs> I mean, they were complaining for the wrong reasons. It was a nightmare playing with a Bard. Because... 
Oh, you guys remember. I don't know. Was everyone here for Bard release? Do you guys remember, like, the dark ages of Bard where, like... Well, no one still knows how to use his ult properly. Let's be fair. It's solo kill. But, um... I think you're dead, sir. See if you can get out of this one. No. <laughs> Your diamond one won't save you from overwhelming damage. Uh, but anyway. The problem with Bard ult is, is, um... That's gonna... Not get stolen. Oh, it's a laser beam. Is that with the exhaust? Is he gonna get out? No, he got CC'd. Nice timing on the stun. But you're the lowest MMR guy there too, and he came out with a clutch play. Good job, uh, Psycho. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the huge problem with Bard, and as amazing as this is, given how terrible people are using Bard ult to this day, people were actually worse when Bard was first released. It was basically guaranteed that if you were about to kill someone, Bard on your team would snipe you from somewhere across the map and prevent you from getting the killing blow, and the enemy would just walk away. Like, oh, my ally's about to kill someone? Let's put him in stasis so he can't do anything. God, that was horrible. You know, now it's like it's progressed to the point after all these years that people are like, oh my god, my ally's about to get a kill, let's put a stasis on both of them. And then it just kind of resets the situation, so. So you effectively, if you had a bard on your team, it was like there was a sixth enemy you had to deal with. Not a bad ult by the bard. Let's see, you know, let's watch the bard. All right, bard, you're the star of the show now. He's the lowest MMR guy, but I'm actually interested in what the bard's doing. Are you guys cool with that? We're cheering for the underdog, okay? I think he's actually literally the lowest MMR in the game. Like, for both teams. How's he doing? What's his score line? He's 0-0-3. Um, he doesn't have the, the, I mean, technically the better scoreline is the Rengar, but Rengar, like, it's cheating, anyway, so. Stay safe, friend. Oh, Bard's out. Look at him bait, a professional bait. See, look at the squidliest guy. He's like diamond something. He should know better. He could have gotten there. This guy with his pro baits. Had the diamond player been ready to uh, support our intrepid Bard player here, that would have been a great play, but uh, shame on, <laughs> shame on the squid. Mm -hmm. Who's your unique champion in the league? Um, I don't remember. Do you guys remember? <laughs> he just stopped. Out. He just stopped out of shame. Okay, Bard, Bard, get this kill. You gotta get this kill. Does he not have his ult? No, he doesn't. Okay, that's, that's too bad. Look at look at that guy. He, he was gonna he was gonna give up the the kill, but he like Rengar has bloodlust in his eyes, and he went for it anyway. But the bard did try and stop to give the kill. This man's a true support. We need a theme song for this guy. I'll find one in a bit. Is there anything else going on here? I don't actually know what's going on in this game. We're just focusing on Bard and like shit talking in League of Legends this whole time. Who's winning? The gold's like basically even, okay. It's actually possible we might have a, a good game of League of Legends going on here. I don't know. You guys probably know more than I do. You guys have been actually watching, you know, the screen. Mm -hmm. No, here's the thing, like. I like the support role, I just don't like it in League of Legends. Um, plus, like I said, you know, they're, they're the underdog. Oh, here comes the Bard. You guys don't stand a chance. You guys better run away, the Bard's gonna kill you all. I'm waiting on Bard. To, oh, he does that. When did Bard get a kill? Shit, we missed it. Or did he have that earlier? He must have had it earlier. Never mind. Um, look at that. Look at look at that bard all. And he's tanking for them? What a hero. And look at he hesitated. That wasn't him fucking up. 
by the way, when he backed off from the heel, he didn't think he got it and then backed out. He tried to, um, he was like, no, I, I'm a team player. I'm going to give the heel to the Tam Kench or whoever that was. And, uh, but then, you know, he saw the other guy hesitating and he didn't want, um, you know, basically hesitation to be happening on the team. And then he was like, okay, I'm going to make the decisive play right now. I'm going to go grab the thing. Poor bastard. Okay, he sacrificed himself so the Tam Kench could live. He's like, I'm going this way. We're going to draw the, uh, the Zed away from our vulnerable teammates. You guys go on without me. Here comes the Rengar. He's not going to get the kill. They got the tower, though. I feel like if they had forced that, they could have just killed him. But I don't know why Mordekaiser walked back in. Could have could have left, but I don't know. We'll ask Nephis why afterwards. In most games, I play support, but support on League sucks a lot. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, mechanically, actually, I like a lot of the supports in League, but, uh, yeah, just how it plays out in terms of the game and all that, it just doesn't work out very well. Creating quite the epic tale here. No, it's not me creating the epic tale. It's Bard. Why are we focusing on this crap and then getting killed? We, we, we gotta focus on Bard here. Can I, like, set the camera to just follow this guy around the whole... Okay, let's do it. Um, how do I do that? He's on, um... There he is. God damn it. Okay, there we go. We're on Bard, guys. We're on Bard pilot. Look at that guy. He's letting them know by walking towards the bush and pretending to be oblivious that now is not a time to do, to do a dragon there. So he just saved um, Rengar and possibly the rest of his team by sacrificing half his life bar. Oh. Look at that, look at that. He's gonna, he's gonna catch the Zed out. And I mean, she gets away, but he aimed at the right person. You know, it's possible. Cause here's the thing. He didn't over, you know, try and like overreach and say, I'm going to get two hits or get two people and miss everyone. Because um, if he hits the main important target, it's possible that the um, the support, the support instincts might kick in. And then, you know, he goes, Welcome to the oh, shit. Hold on a second. We'll, we'll get to the subscription in just half a second, if you don't mind. But, you know, he was hoping the support instincts would kick back in or kick in and... Um, Welcome to the sponsors. What the, what the hell's going on? Why, why are you guys sending me money? Or subscriptions? Like, well, same thing. Well, let me just finish the story real quick. And that uh, he would turn back and then it would result in double kill. But unfortunately, um, their support is a coward. And, you, know, you can't account for cowardice sometimes. Bard's still trying. He's still trying. He's looking for something. Anyway, sorry. Um, Welcome to the sponsors. Uh, Van Quiz, <laughs> thank you very much for another subscription. Uh, we had three subscriptions in a row. One from um, Lolly Revolution, um, Rackinson, and then Van Quiz 1991. Is that just a particularly good year, 91? But in any case, uh, thank you very much to you three. Um, sorry I can't address those subscriptions as, um, as much as I would like. As soon as this game is over, I will uh, get you properly welcomed in, swap the overlay, uh, get you guys to the top of the screen, etc. Et For now, please enjoy the slowly unsheathing sword icons, which go next to your name. The longer you're subscribed here, the, the more they unsheathe, as well as the emoticons, most of which are the handiwork of Lettuce, who is not here today, but she'll be around eventually. Uh, in the meantime, the tower is going down. But uh, yeah, sub train, I suppose. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it greatly. Hope you guys are enjoying the show here today. Or should I say the Bard show? Because here he comes, guys. Cavalry's here. Look at them run. See, look, they were they're poised to push in and they saw the bard. They just backed the hell out. Uh, it is a great game. It's a great game to be a bard. Back to bard cam. Hold on. Where, where's bard cam? There, there's bard cam. What? Why are we not... How do I turn this thing... Okay, toggle. There we go. There's Bard Cam. Okay, we can go on autopilot for a minute here. Um, yeah, okay, so I lost my train of thought there. But I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, 
I forgot. I just remembered something. I wasn't supposed to talk that much because it's going to kill my voice. So I, I, give me like 10 seconds and then I'll, I don't know, start ruining the audio again with whatever the hell I'm talking about. Okay, it was probably like 10 seconds. Uh, so what's Bard doing now? How many, uh, how many chimes is he at? Does it tell you? Is there a thing where you can tell how many chimes Bard has on this crappy UI here? I think it does. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure he's gotten, like, all of them. He's, he's on top of everything. Alright, um, so the game's suddenly become a bit more passive it's because I stopped commentating. <laughs> the power of my voice compels bloodshed. Uh, this barge is roaming around here. What is that? Answer bus? What, 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 that looks like my name, but some kind of weird letter is there. How strong do you think Zoe is going to be? I have no way of telling. Um... I mean, it's first release on the PBE. It'll probably be overpowered. The champions usually are, and then they get scaled down over the course of the PBE. That's generally how it works. Alright, so you guys are just playing ARAM minus these guys. How's Bard's ult? Look for a Bard ult play, guys. If I know this Bard, he's just going to nail everyone with his ult. And they're gonna go in hard. Oh wait, no, Rengar. Look at this Rengar. He's, he's gotta get with them. Gotta get with the pro. No, here comes. He's hesitating. He doesn't know what to do. You gotta make decisive. Okay, now he finally decided. He's going top now. Let's let's watch this. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna watch this. The, the mini map down here, just to make sure the bard all the play doesn't happen. But you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to. <laughs> What? Warwick? What are you... What are you... Whatever. Oh, man. Something happened there. That's too bad. I was... You know what? It's That was my fault. It wasn't the Bard's fault. I got so engrossed in this fight up here and was mystified as to why this guy didn't... Why he didn't finish the job. That we... Uh, that happened there. Alright, so, so we gotta, like, again, pay attention to the bard. Then this team will be fine. Why did they spread out in every different direction after they wiped the entire team? They could have, like, taken an inhib. Did this, did this guy just, like, not want to... Alright, anyway, mysteries of the uh, viewer custom day. I suspect this guy puts just wants to drag the game out. Like, he should know better. <laughs> uh, but at least they got two towers. Mm -hmm. Alright, how are we doing here? Good bard. Bravely setting up this kill. You should have taken the kill, Bard. You deserved it. He goes to Rengar. He's going to do Rengar things. Barely lives. They're going to set themselves up a free dragon here. This will be like one dragon apiece now, right? I don't I don't know how this UI works. I'm not sure where to check. Does anyone do spectator mode very often? Does it tell you <laughs> where the thing is? Well, who has how many dragons? Oh, I guess I can just click on the person, right, can I? So, uh, yeah, they have one, and then you guys have two. Okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. clearing up. What's Bard doing? Bard uh, taking some well-deserved farm. He needs money, too. Dragons at the scoreboard, are they? 
But anyway, it doesn't. We already figured it was. Let's not. Let's not waste our time on that. Let's have a drink of coffee. Because uh, this world-class commentary needs to be fueled by uh, caffeine. Otherwise, I fall asleep and it ceases. And that would be a shame. Uh, what do we have going on here? You're split that way. You're split that way. They need to watch for that. They need to cut off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rourke's caught. However, he's pretty tanky, so yeah, if you overcommit to that, you'll get killed, so I wouldn't do that. It is just Warwick, though, so he'll just heal himself up in three seconds if he wants to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He blew his ult, though, so... Actually, what's the CDR? How quickly is he going to get that back? In 70 seconds. Alright. Vanguard leaping over uh, walls, because he can do that. Yeah, you put a ward over the thing, and then you target that, and you Advanced stuff, guys. League of Legends is a complicated game. Um, Mordekaiser is getting caught out. He's going to die. Unless... Well, what's he doing up there? Right, let's see what Bard does here. Don't get too close to him. Oh, you missed. It's up to Bard now. Bard, run him down. I don't know he was... Bard's going to ult there. Oh, he... And force the flash. That is so damn loud. What is going on here? Okay, so they're still going that way. Bard single-handedly holds off, holds this flank. Had that collapsed, they, they may have been gutted from behind. But the intrepid Bard saves them all while uh, Tam Kench eats his 80 carry. Tam Kench missed his tongue, but that's okay. We didn't see that. Bard's still zoning people out. There's a Warwick. He's just going to get CC'd. Oh, he burns a flash. He's going to get that. New Q. There you go. So there's the stun. Good job. Well done, everyone. Uh, what can you get off this with them all dead? They could, um, yeah, they could Baron. He's up in like one second, so he should be back there in time. Bard, uh... You know what, he should have gone with his instincts and cleared the wave up, because they... How's Vision here? Yeah, they don't know that this is happening. Well, I mean, they could guess, probably. But the fact that he went that way guarantees that they know now. I mean, it should be fine, but... He got bamboozled by whoever was pinging at him. Hey, they got it. Remember, Bard, trust your own instincts. Don't trust your teammates. There are no allies, only enemies on the uh, Summoner's Rift. Yeah. Well, he tried. He tried. They got wiped, but at least they got Baron. That's too bad. They couldn't do it quite fast enough. You, you appreciate my version of events, Katariel? I like my reality, too. Um, the world in which the support can make a difference. Alright, let's see if the eyeball can hold these guys off. Spoilers, he won't. They're going to take that inhib. If they actually commit to taking it, they need to do this faster. Because, you know, they will respawn. Zed hesitated a bit. They might not get this now. Yeah, they had to do it a bit faster. Oh, they're going to get the... Uh, Ponzord, Ponzord, there. Geometry. Alright, they're pushing out. They don't get the inhib and get largely wiped. And there's some kind of, like, um, slap fest going on up here. I don't know what that was. Alright, so with how many people dead? Oh, did he? No, he didn't catch him. That said, with the wave coming, they shouldn't be able to defend this. Bard, do you have your ult? Bard's got his ult. Watch the Bard play, guys. It's coming. If they stick around. If they don't stick around... I guess he can't do much, but... Oh man, that 80 carry chickened out. They could have taken that tower. If only Bard could play multiple characters, I'm sure they would have taken that tower. Corrections to Kona. Most reality are shitty. Hey, big-headed. How you doing? Welcome. 
Welcome to this lesser game that is not Paragon. Uh, we're gonna farm this. What does the farm actually look like? Let's take a quick look here. Uh, top has more, mid has more on the red side. 80. Oh my god. <laughs> look at that CS disparity. But, whatever. Mm -hmm. Samsung Galaxy skins. Oh yeah. They do uh, champion skins every year, don't they? That's too bad. I was looking forward to even more Samsung uh, SKT skins that I'm not going to buy. That's actually not true. I actually have some of the SKT skins, don't I? I think I have best. No, I don't. I have um, Fnatic Jarvan. I was about to say it's like Samsung. I mean, uh, Sam God damn it. Whatever. No one cares. They're taking Dragon. They're, they're getting the. Uh, they're taking Water Lizard. So they can heal like six hit points every 30 minutes or whatever the hell it does. Dragon scores under the top. Oh, yeah, there it is. I see them. Yeah, there we go. They have uh, almost one of every element there. They just need to collect an air and then they can do uh, the whole Pokemon thing. Better in worlds? Damn right. We, we need uh, another 300,000 viewers to tune in. Oh, look at that. He throws the dragon and the Warwick. There's one there. Bard, where, where's the Bard? Should have lost track of the Bard. Oh god, panic. Okay, no, no, we got the Bard. Bard's mucking things up while the AD carry ults them from the back line. Only so much he can do, though. He's trying to buy them as much time as humanly possible. Unfor oh, no, he's lined them up for a stun. Ah, unfortunately, cool. No, he can still get them. Stuns the Warwick. Can someone else follow up on that beautiful play? No, unfortunately, there's no damage that can follow them up. Uh, Zed bites off slightly more than you can chew there. But, fortunately, his AD carry has 6 trillion CS. And uh, just right clicks on some people. And uh, what an exciting finish to a fantastic battle. The dreaded right clicking skills were slightly too much. And another inhibitor is down. Is this the game? No, it's not. It's going to drag, <laughs> drag on a little bit longer. So let's have another drink of coffee. So Bard will be back up in uh, 12 seconds here. Don't worry, guys. I realize uh, he did die there, but he's not dead permanently. Or, oh, what's going on here? That is Ozark with his second month. Thank you very much for your second month using Twitch Prime. Appreciate that uh, greatly. I got a number of people added to the top of the screen. You're getting added to that list. Um, so thank you very much for your patience in that regard. But uh, again, thanks for the support. Hope you're enjoying the programming here today on twitch.tv slash ponts. Where I play League of Legends. But you don't have to. Except today, where I don't play League of Legends. And you have to. Uh, hold, wait, hold on a sec. So, um, a totally fair display of skill and ability to enact counterplay on screen right there. Uh, Blades Bit Dull, thank you very much for your second month using Twitch Prime as well. Double, double. Anyway, thank you. Uh, we're going to get you to the top of the screen soon. And by soon, I mean whenever this game ends. Maybe. Maybe it'll end sometime uh, this week. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm drinking this coffee too fast. I gotta bomb with the spoilers in chat. Are you new to Twitch? Christ man, no spoilers. Are you the guy who like shows up in Man vs. Games chat and like, hey man, have you gotten to this boss yet? And then you get banned? Are you that guy? Anyway, um, oh, here comes the Rengar. He's either going to kill someone or get his entire team killed. One of the, <laughs> let's see which. Oh no, he backs up. Okay. You're afraid. What? What's going on, big-headed? Let's drink some water instead. I'm too caffeinated here. Ugh. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they should have a Baron for free. So I guess, uh, unless something magical happens here, and by magical I mean magically stupid, blue team is going to win off this. Thanks a lot, Bomb. Christ, and spoilers. Oh man, poor Bard. Poor Bard. See, look at that. He was just despairing at that point. So he gave up. He's like, man, I sense the ending is going to be spoiled by someone in chat. I'm just going to flub my ult and throw it out in the middle of nowhere. He does survive, though. He's the only guy... Oh, no, he's not the only guy alive. AD Carry was sitting in base. Oh, what a depressing ending. Alright, I, I don't Do you guys still want to keep playing League of Legends after this? Is there a point? That is still... That's like the, um... The Kalari thing. Uh, Paragon. It's way too loud. All right, GGWP, everyone. Congratulations. Oh, hey, you were the bard. You were the star of the show. Thanks for the game. Uh... Some people